this is kind of a big deal for the fans, especially who really gravitated to you very quickly. This is going to be an emotional night for a lot of folks on this side of the field. How about you? Yeah, it is uh, for me a totally emotional game. I think um, you will yeah, have so many memories about like my last 17 years as a professional soccer player. And now, yeah, it's almost the end. I have one more game. I'm excited. I'm happy to get one more game. But um, it's it's especially like a, a weird feeling because you know, okay, it's just one more game. And yeah, I love to be on the pitch. I love to like battle with my teammates for wins. And um, yeah, now it's over, but um, I will put everything again on the field with so much passion, with so much love, what I have for the game. What is a sporting director? We, we, uh, we call it, we say general manager a lot in the United yeah, States, but what is a sporting director? It's something similar like that, and it's a, it's a, it's a great opportunity for me. It's a great challenge. And um, yeah, I think this opportunity uh, was one of the reasons why I made the step to the US, um, because we already signed the contract like two years ago. The plan was going back in 2019, but um, like my former club Wolfsburg, they struggled the last two seasons. Um, they stayed in the first league, but uh, they had two times a, a playoff game. And they don't get relegated, but they struggled a lot. So now they want to make a rebuild right now. And they give me this great opportunity right now. And yeah, I think there is no doubt to take it. And everybody understands it. But on the one side, I'm very, very excited about my new job. I'm happy to get this huge opportunity. And I'm very grateful for sure to, to Bill Edwards, the Rowdies, um, to give me the chance and for sure to follow Wolfsburg. But on the other hand, it's like a little bit yeah, sad, a little bit disappointed that, it, that it's over because I'm still Still fit, I, but uh, it, it's it's okay. Sometimes you have to make decisions, and this was a situation where I have to make a decision. And yeah, it's fine. Uh, you've played a long time. You mentioned how many years you've played, but you're a young man when it comes to uh, you know being in a high executive position like this. This is a prestigious thing, and uh, very uh, a lot of pressure as well. So when you hit the ground running uh, in Germany, I mean, there's a lot. You're expected to do a lot right away. Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, it's a rebuild and I think always, um, yeah, it's, it's a huge chance to bring like your values, your ideas to the club. And I think exactly that's what the club needs and that's what the club or the executives uh, want. They want me back with all my values, with all my ideas. And um, I prepared, I think, um, beside my, my career, I make two study programs. Um, I make um, so many things um, next to the or outside of the of the field to prepare for my for my next career. And now it's time to to do that and I'm very excited yeah about my new job for folks uh, here in, in the Bay Area who may not follow the Bundesliga as closely uh, how traditional is, is, is Wolfsburg and how important is it you know you mentioned back-to-back -back years they've survived staying in the top league in Germany uh, how important is it to have that club uh, rise back to the top of the of the Bundesliga yeah, I think um, we are now, I think, 21 years in the in the German Bundesliga, so one of the longest clubs right now, and uh, it's not a like huge tradition like 1900 mm -hmm. anywhere else. Um, but I think we have we have a tradition. We won the German Bundesliga 2-9. We won the German Cup 215. So we had a lot of success in the in the in the past. Yeah, and we want to be back in the top of the Bundesliga again. But right now, um, after two seasons where we struggled a lot, I think we have to be a little bit more like um, we need a little bit more patience to make the rebuild to be to be successful again and then we can go step by step to the top again now here in the US and here in the Bay Area I understand you've you've visited a lot of the teams and the Buccaneers and the Lightning uh, you've gotten to know them very well what have you what did you learn from seeing them and and is there anything maybe you can take with you to Germany that's a little different definitely definitely it was always interesting I mean it's it's like you cannot compare like soccer with ice hockey soccer with baseball or football but you can learn a lot from from other sports from other athletes from other clubs um, and you can learn what they do to be at the top of their leagues you know it was very interesting to see how like um, Victor Hatman one of the best defense players in the NHL how he works how he trains what he does to be one of the best defenders in the league and I think you can you can improve a lot you can learn a lot from other sports and what was interesting because I
I had a lot of conversations um, about what is behind the team, what do they do for the players, and um, what do you have their values, what is about the philosophy of the club, and this was very interesting. And it's always good to learn, I think, even from, from other sports. How about the, did you get a chance to spend any time with the executive side? I mean, I know rules are different in all the different leagues and, and player unions and all that kind of thing over here, but how does it work uh, overseas compared to here? And are there some ideas you can take back as well? Yeah, it was a um, very interesting conversation. It was a short one with uh, with Iserman uh, from the from the Tampa Bay Lightning. I mean, the Lightning are, are a great franchise, mm -hmm. and because everybody I talk to, to in Germany, it's like Florida and ice hockey it sounds a little <laughs> bit weird. But I mean, they are not only on, on the ice, they are a great franchise. I mean, um, I think the whole Tampa Bay area uh, is cheering for for the Tampa Bay Lightning. The atmosphere in the playoffs, it was it was great. You feel you feel the mood about everyone here, and this was this was a great experience. And I think Iserman did the same. He was a professional player, ice hockey player, long years, like in the Detroit Red Wings. And then he makes a step to to the management, and it was very interesting to talk to him about his steps and how he did it. I know fans here will will follow you now. They'll they, we, we may have, have some Wolfsburg fans now from from the Tampa Bay area. Uh, when you go home, you're going home. Uh, but will, what will this area mean to you? And I, I don't know what's down. Never say never. What's down the road? Maybe that could you, not just visit here, but maybe do something in an executive fashion in the I United mean, States one day. I mean, I will I will definitely come back because right now I think we announced it. I'm I'm the first German Rowdies ambassador, so <laughs> I have to come back. And yeah, I made I made a lot of friendships, which means a lot. To me and um, this makes like the step so hard you know because it was not only like a business not only a job it was more for me and I think everybody who see me or saw me on the field they they can f they can feel it that it was more than a job um, we feel really really familiar to the to the Tampa Bay area it was it was a gift for us for me and my family it was really a great life experience and yeah especially my family too I mean it is a, it is a great spot here to live it's a great spot it's a great franchise and um, yeah, we will always cheer and cross our fingers for the for the Tampa Bay Rowdies for sure.